Hello everyone and welcome back to Minecraft Tutorials where today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you guys can create your own custom server hubs with World Painter. So last video I told you guys how to download it and this video I'm going to teach you guys how to build with it. So let's get straight into it. Alright guys so as you can see we're in World Painter here and so today what we're going to create is a server hub but not just any server hub we are going to create a kind of like mountain theme server hub like it's surrounded by mountains and it has like an ocean around it so without further ado let's get straight into it so what you want to do is you want to go up here to create new world and so if your server is run uh, 1.12 and below you'll choose this but mine is going to be run on 1.14 or later so here we're going to choose how much how much we want it. You guys can choose whatever you want. I'm just going to choose, oh, I don't know, 500, I mean, 512, okay. 512 seems good. And you guys can choose circular world. Um, actually, I'll choose that because, well, yeah. And I'll have to turn this down just a little bit because... It's a circular world. We don't want the diameter to be too big. So, 438 blocks. I'm going to take out beaches. Um, yep, everything looks good. We're going to have ocean on the outside. And yeah, create. So, we have our map here. And the first thing that we want to do is flatten out everything. So, if we go over here to this flatten tool, uh, we go to our normal brushes. Uh, you just choose like whatever brush you really want. It doesn't really matter as long as it flattens it out. Just make out my. You just always gotta make sure it's a flat until you have to flatten the area. And so, um, now that you have that, you wanna go to, uh, brush settings, and you wanna go intensity. You wanna shoot this up to a hundred, so it ju it'll just completely flatten it out like really fast. And what you wanna do is, so like. Let's say I'm just going to flatten it out to this length. So you have to keep it on the same length on every time. So here we go. And we're just going to go all the way around. All right. So now that we have our flattened out area, let's get started. So let's so we said we wanted to build some mountains. And I have some custom brushes here. You guys can go on to the um app and actually get custom brushes go on to the website of world painter and actually get them so yeah but but yeah so um i'm going to choose this custom brush right here because these are for like mountains and i'm gonna just you know kind of go around create a small you know ring because like i said it's this is going to be ocean around here and I will do a lot more uh, with this besides actually, you know, just making it a ring. Because this is not just gonna what it's going to be. But if we look down here, we have all of our location. So if I scroll over here, um, as you can see, I'll zoom in on the height down there. You can actually see that um, right. we have 109 out of 255 height. You want to keep track of that height because if you get to 255... Well, it won't really look good, so, yeah. Alright. Once you think you've, you know, gotten it all set up, what you can do is, like, I'm just going to flatten this out, but once you think you've gotten your first part set up, uh, to actually look at it, like, in a player view, it's not really a player view, but it's close to, you want to go up to view up here, and you want to go to go show 3D view, and boom, it's going to show what it'll look like from like kind of like a player standpoint. And you can actually scroll around and see what it is at different angles. So what we can do is we can actually make this really small. And put it down here. And so now, we can drag out, zoom out real quick. Boom, there it is. And if you want to keep it while you work, you just press this lock button. And so now... We have it while we work. I need a, a bump 
this part up over here a little bit. Kind of just make that kind of the center round. All right, cool. Now, um, once you think you've gotten it, we want to kind of flatten out this middle part here. So, just want to go here, kind of just flatten it out. We will make it look a little more natural here in a minute. Yeah, so kind of just need to flatten that out right there. And boom. All right. So we have this um, complete outside. It has like these edges right here. So you guys can get rid of these if you want. I'm going to because I'm not actually going to get rid of all of them. I'm going to kind of keep some of them just kind of around. So it seems like it's coming out of the edge. And we will do more with that. So here is our hub. And yeah. All right. Next step is we want to, you know, decorate the outside here and add some like oceany parts. So what we want to do is we kind of we want to take this tool right here, the up and down tool, and we kind of just want to dig down. So right click until you kind of hit water there. Okay. Then what you want to do is you want to take your flatten tool. You kind of just want to zoom in on that part. So let's kind of zoom in. All right. So we have right here. Now what you want to do is you just want to grab that part and just start smoothing it out. I'm actually going to get a brush right here. And yeah. All right. So as we smoothen it out, you might notice how this is just going to be completely like bumped up there. Leave that because we will uh, fix that later. So it may, it may it makes it look more natural. But for now, kind of just go around here. All right. So now that we are done here, what we want to do is we want to smoothen out the edges so it doesn't look all like crazy. So come over to your custom brushes if you have them. And with the smoothing tool, which is this thing, kind of just go around and it doesn't take too much because if you go to intensity, it's 100, so you can actually lower that so it isn't like all crazy. But yeah, so once we have this, we're actually going to take our water tool, and right here, we're just going to kind of fill it up. Maybe like right there, as you can see, if you zoom in down here, you can see that the water is connected to the edges. So what we can do is we have our bring around here. Now, we want to, you know, see what it looks like now. So, uh, when we're done, like completely done, we don't have to make any huge changes that'll completely ruin it. So, the way that we look at it right now is we're going to go over to here, and if we hover over this, it'll say, Save the world as a world painter file to the previously used file name. So, we want to click here, and uh, we just want to name this, oh, I don't know, Hub. Doesn't really matter. Hub, lobby, doesn't matter. And file saved. Okay. So what we want to do now is we want to export this world file. And so uh, you want to save it to your saves because that's where your, all your worlds are. So yeah. So underground mixed material, you can choose this. I'm just going to leave it at stone mix. And yeah, you really don't really need to touch much of this. Um, but yeah, so we want to go down here. We want to create, do creative, allow cheats so we can fly around, difficulty peaceful. And so you want to export everything. If you export selected tiles, you have to select what you want to export, which is, you know, not really what we want. So yeah, so let's click export. It's going to export everything, and I'll meet you guys when it's done. Okay, guys, as you can see, world exported. Everything's exported. It'll tell you all the statistics and everything. But yeah, so we can just click OK. And yeah, um, I will see you guys in Minecraft because that's where it is. Alright guys, so as you can see, we are in uh, Minecraft here. And um, right here is Hub. So let's see. It's, it'll do World Painter. Now, it'll bring this up. What we want to do is we just want to go... I, I know what I'm doing. It doesn't really matter.
what we're kind of more worried about right now is the ocean. So if we come down here, as you can see, uh, the ocean is completely synced and completely, you know, around each other. And, uh, well, as you can see, this is the plot of land. And it does kind of look like a volcano. Which is pretty cool, but it's not. So, that is the first part. I would say it looks pretty good for what we've done right now. We are definitely going to shape it up and make it look good. Like, really good. So, yeah. Um, I'll see you guys back in the world paint. Alright guys, we're back in the world painter, and first things first, we are going to shape up this inside here and make it actually look good. So, what we want to do is we want to go to our smoothing tool, and intensity, we want to make this about, yeah, 100, around there. I just want to smoothen it out. Make sure, it, like, it looks good to what you want. And, you know, you won't always be perfect, sometimes you just have to, you know, shape it to... And it takes a long time. But, honestly, I think that looks pretty good for now. Because this is a tutorial. <sighs> Alright. There we go. So, now, we are going to start decorating. So, we want a beach. You want a beach, you say? Well, this is how we create a beach. You get your layers where you want them. Alright. And you go down to brush settings intensity make it a hundred but now we're going to use these adder above and adder below so we want to go to terrain and we want to click sand bare just bare sand we also have sandstone but we're not going to worry about that just bare sand all right and then we want to go to this brush right here i mean this brush you can also use this brush but we're going to use this brush right here Okay, so, now that we have this brush, if I just go over anything, like if I go to spray paint, you also need a spray paint tool. If I go to spray paint, boom, it's just going to color this, I don't want that. So, um, what we want to do is, we want to go to add or above and add or below. So, turn these on, and this is how you use it. So, what you want to do is you want, so add or above, you want at or above to always be low the number here to always be lower than at or below because that's the area so at or above you want to, you want to hover your mouse over this area right here and as you can say as you can see it says uh height 60. so what we want to do is type in here 60. boom and then at the shoreline where you want your, uh, you know, your, uh, sand to stop, your beach to stop, you just do right here, and 68 down there. So, you want to type in here, 68. Boom. And then, you just color, and boom. You can't mess up. Like, I'm going over here, but it's only doing... Add or above and add or below 68. So you can actually get a pretty nice beach going. So as we do this, we're gonna kinda we also want to go under the sand. And as you can see the sand is getting brighter. Or the water's getting brighter. And that means that it's sand. And the on, another way to tell if it's sand is if you go down here and you look at terrain down at the bottom, kind of near where height is. It's a sand, and yeah, so we're just going to kind of go around all the way till it is sand. Alright, so yes, this is good and all, but let's say you want, you know, to add a little more spice to that sand. So what we want to do is we want to get some gravel going. So here's gravel, so we're going to click gravel, and what we're going to do this time is we're actually going to make the intensity 15. And what this is going to do is, you can also go to the spread. What it's going to do is, it's just going to spread some of the gravel around. Because you don't want too much gravel, you just want some. See, it's looking pretty good. In my opinion. So, now that we have this, and we have 
the beach set up, let's say we want to add some trees. So, right here we have layers, we have jungle tree, swamp tree, pine tree, and all these other trees. But, I'm going to leave a download link down in the description for you guys to get your own custom trees. So, um, I will leave another video on how to download that. Um, but yeah, so we want to go to layers, right? And at layers, we want to go down here, and we want to click add custom object layer. And, uh, yeah, we just want to click add custom object layer. And so, basically, you download the, um, trees, and you are going to put it in here. So, add one or more objects. You're going to go to add one or more objects, and what you're going to do is, wherever you put those, uh, those trees that um that uh, zip file I would recommend putting it on your desktop but basically put those trees on your desktop and then you click desktop and it's gonna be somewhere on here so you just wanna click that and then you're gonna click open but we uh I already have my trees so I'm just gonna zoom out there so we go here we have North American trees and if we go American Basswood, it's actually going to show you a preview of what the tree will look like. You can zoom in and out on it. But we want to kind of look at something that, you know, kind of looks like a palm tree. Now, I have actually more uh, trees in this. So, if we actually go to Custom Tree, and we go VO2s, and we can go to Afri African trees, European trees, North American trees, and South American trees. So... I'm going to go to South American Trees. As you can see, this one, they're more tropical. So, we're going to use this tree right here. Well, as you can see, it's going to show you the spacing of every single tree. Now, this looks very thick and very dense. So, the way that we actually, well, you know, change that is right here. The higher the number, the, the more spread out it's going to be. So, Let's go 500, and because we don't want it to be, you know, too, um, there, you don't want it to be too much trees. But as you can see, that looks pretty good. There's not too many trees. You can actually add as much trees as you want. Just make sure the spacing is good to you. But we're just gonna keep this. And so the color, um, doesn't really matter honestly. Just choose a color that. That you think it looks good so we're just gonna go this one right here press ok and then you don't change anything else just make sure you have your trees make sure you have your co your color and you press ok so here's your custom object layer and so let's see i kind of just want to add palm trees just around here a little bit but not too not really around here well what we can do is uh, we're going to use at or above and at or below. So uh, let's go right here, this line right here, 70. So we're going to go at or above 70. Just highlight that, 70. And then we're going to go at or below, eh, let's go 85. Eh, yeah, 85 seems good. And then... What you do is you take your custom object layer, make sure both of these are checked, just like that, because it can sometimes uncheck themselves. But as you can see, you see that light green tint, that's the trees that we're spreading around. Alright, boom, there we go, that is our trees done, and yeah, so let's um go check it out, but... Right now, I'm actually going to kind of make this a little, kind of more of a square, because that's more direction it's heading, and, well, so if you can't make it a circle, sometimes you just have to make it a square, so, I'm just going to go around here, and you might be saying, Sam, what's going on? You're ruining this here. Well, no, not necessarily, because we can kind of just smoothen that out there, go around, smoothen it out, boom. Looks pretty natural to me. Anyways. Yeah. And that looks pretty good. As our hub. Now, uh, if we go over here to our 
spawn, change the spawn point, we can actually go here, and our spawn point will change. And then you have copy, the so I'm just going to go over these tools right now. So you have copy selection to another location, basically meaning you can copy like a selection of this to another location. So like let's say I want to copy this piece right here to another location, I can do that with that. Right here, it'll just say fill or clear the world with terrain, biome, or layer. So you can fill the world with water or fill the world with, you know, grass or clear the world with grass right here we have a uh, phrase is a square but 45 degree angle so this is just a pyramid this is probably the lower I don't know no this one raises out of the ground um, I'm not ever sure what that one does but we have clear the selection which means clear that selection and then you can edit the selection so yeah um but, so we're just going to add our spawn point there and see how it is. So, save it. So I might have to save. And then export. And I'll see you guys in Minecraft. It is exporting. Alright guys, so. I am, well, loading the world in right now. Hopefully it isn't too laggy because, well, um, let's just say, whenever I'm loading stuff, um, thing is kind of a wonky, and excuse my chair, but yeah, so, see, that looks more of a circular shape, and I think that's what we'll kind of stick with, you can make it to whatever you want, but that's not what we're looking for, we're looking for these trees here, and as you can see, the trees have spawned in, now if you have a really, really steep hill, the trees won't actually spawn in, but, yeah, so, as you can see, we have our, you know, thing going around, and yeah. Now, I'm only going over the terraforming part of this, I'm not actually going to build inside the hub here, you guys can go to that, I'm just showing you guys how to terraform it, and yeah. So, next steps, we're going to kind of, you know, um some snow on here and add maybe some you know more trees on the inside and yeah maybe even make the yeah we're gonna make the uh, mountains and stone instead of grass because well let's be honest mountains are made of stone and not grass like this so yeah um yeah I'll see you guys back in the world painter Alright guys, we are back in the world painter as you can see, and let's make this some stone. So the way we do this is, we're just going to kind of select the region that we want. So right here, what is this? 104, so at or above 104, and then this one's just going to be 255. Here comes the cool part. So you can actually go only on, and you can actually change you know, what you want it on. So yeah. But we aren't going to do that, so we want to go to layers. Right, and instead we want to go somewhere around here. It's rock. A mix of stone and cobblestone. And so you want to click that. Click your spray paint tool. Um, go to your brushes like this brush and make sure everything is good rock spray paint tool good I wonder why it's not working well that well that must be why 70 104 and 255 it seems like it just reset one to me all right there we go okay as you can see we're turning it to stone well not really stone of a mixture of rock and other stuff because that's what it said you can kind of make it big so you get that full area but yeah so there's the stone you guys can add stone here and the way you do that is you just kind of check off both of those make it like maybe 35 go to the sprinkle and kind of just sprinkle it out like that much you want to you you want you want it to be like pretty dense but not like so dense that it's just like 
you know, not able, it's, it's just stone, practically. You want some grass, because, um, well, the trees that we're going to add, I don't grow on that, so, we're just going to kind of go down there. Boom, that looks pretty good so far. And we are going to add some mountain trees. So let's go to add another custom layer, but you don't actually go here. You have to go here, add custom object layer. Go here, add your trees. So I'm actually gonna go South American trees and we're gonna go custom here, CO2s. North American trees, and we're going to we'll go balsam fir, maybe. Yeah, let's go balsam fir. And you guys can add more trees, but make sure this is at 500. Or yeah, I'm gonna go 400 this time because you know mountain trees are a little more dense. So yeah, that looks good. Custom object layer. Boom. Okay. So now. What we do is we kind of just sprinkle it in the inside here, and uh, what you want to do is if you want to make it a little bit more perfect, um, you know, kind of get it out of this way. So it kind of if you don't want it down here in the head, you just you can just do another, you know, add or above and add or below. So this is seventy five. I'm just gonna just do seventy five. Seventy five. And right here is a hundred and yep. Right here I'm gonna go one hundred and one. Just like that. And yeah, so we're just gonna kinda sprinkle it around. And so let's say you don't want it on the stone. What you can do is you can actually um what you can do is you can go out, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to go only on, we're going to go terrain, and we're going to go grass. Alright, now it's only going to, now, if we go intensity 100, it's only going to put it on the grass. Right there. As you can see, it's only on the grass. Now, you guys might not want this, so you can just uncheck it. I'm going to kind of sprinkle a little more around, so it's all like that. Boom, there is our balsam furs. I'll meet you guys in Minecraft to check what this looks like. And then we're going to add some more snow. Maybe add some permadirt to make it, to spice it up a little more. And I'll also get rid of the stone and yeah, we'll end the video off there. So, meet you guys in Minecraft. Alright guys, so as you can see, we are in Minecraft. Well, you can see that those trees that we added are actually in here. Now, I think these look pretty good, but they are a little big, so you guys can really change that, but for the sake of this tutorial video, I don't want to make it too long. I'm just going to leave it like this. Also, you guys may be realizing why there's, like, none over here. Well, probably because it's pretty steep here, as you can see. I mean, like, look, like... Two blocks, one block, two blocks, one block, and if it's pretty steep, it can't spawn a tree, so yeah. But this looks pretty good. Um, we have our mountains here, and next step is to just add some snow going down them. Maybe add a little gravel onto the mountains, and just overall spice it up a little more with some blocks. So yeah, I'll meet you guys for the third time back in world painter all right guys so we're back in world painter and let's add some snow so first thing we want to do is make sure that we have our tools on there and then we want to go to layers and sorry no terrain and we want to go down here to deep snow also we want to uncheck these for now and we only want we want to make it only go on Go to terrain, and if it's not in here, we want to make it only go on dirt, but you go to more, and then you go on the rock. So now, it's only going to put snow on rock. So we're going to get our brush. We're just going to kind of, you know, add some snow. A little bit to there. Make our intensity 100. Yeah. 
Can you stop spinning over this? It's, it's snow everywhere. Boom. There's the snow complete. You can even add some on the outside edges here if you want. And because it's only on stone, it will only be on stone. So yeah. Alright. Like I said, I'm gonna get rid of this stone right here because, well, that doesn't, you know, that doesn't really look good. So, what we want to do is, we want to go to, um, right here, we want to go grass. And, right here, where this is, 75, add her above 75, so, we want to go here, which is 74, so, add her above 74, and just for the sake of, I'm going to go 73, just to be safe, and then right here, we're going to go 75, enter, so, there it is, now, let's add some permadirt to spice it up and a little more gravel, so, permadirt is basically, essentially, porous dirt, and, um, you can just uncheck these, make sure it's only on rock, intensity, wherever you want it, right there, and, yeah, so, we're just gonna kind of go around and add some coarse dirt. We don't want too much coarse dirt. We just want some. Everything looks good. Let's go check out the hub in real Minecraft. So, yeah, I'll see you guys back in Minecraft for the fourth time. All right, guys, we are in Minecraft, and well, as you can see, we have all the snow around here. I think the snow looks pretty good. If you guys want thicker snow. You can just in up up the intensity, but I think it looks pretty good for now. We have that perma dirt going around the side here, as you can see. Forest dirt. That is going to do it for this video. That is how you make a pretty cool server hub with World Painter. So if you guys did enjoy, please do leave a like and subscribe for more. And I will have those um, download links for. Uh, trees in the description and yeah so um i'll see you guys in the next tutorial good bye